Bloomberg News reports that Joe Biden is set to announce a plan that will see the United States accept as many as 100,000 Ukrainian refugees. What could possibly go wrong? Well, given that around a third of Ukrainian refugees entering France aren't even from Ukraine, and actually turned out to be mostly from Middle Eastern, North African, and South Asian countries, quite a lot could go wrong. Namely, the wanton abuse of the process by economic migrants, which is already taking place and only serves to disadvantage genuine refugees. As this Irish man discovered when the Ukrainian refugee family he rescued turned out to be... Not quite what he expected. Some of those allowed into the country will come as refugees, but the US will also permit others to seek parole status or immigrant or non-immigrant visas, the official said, without defining a timeline for the arrivals. Others? What others? They're either refugees or they're not. Critically, the report includes the following telling paragraph. The official said the US is committed to protecting LGBTQ people and those with medical needs that have been disrupted by war. As I highlighted yesterday, transgender Ukrainians who now identify as women are being turned back at the border. Ukrainian officials are refusing to let them flee and ordering them to return home to fight because they're legally registered as being men. And as the Danish Prime Minister asserted, quote, being a refugee is temporary. Asylum status should only be maintained as long as the war is ongoing. At some point, they have to go back. Is that factored into Biden's plan to accept 100,000 Ukrainian refugees? Well, given that the report says the refugees will be eligible to enter the United States over the course of several years, it doesn't look like it. Meanwhile, the Irish government has pledged to take in a whopping 200,000 Ukrainian refugees. Today, on their way into cabinet, ministers were confirming that the now estimated number that Ireland has to plan to receive is 10 times that number, 200,000 people. Adjusted for population, population size, that would be the equivalent of the United States taking in 13.2 million Ukrainian refugees. And given what we've seen in France, around 60,000 of that 200,000 Ukrainian refugee number won't even be coming from Ukraine. They're third world economic migrants. But yeah, whatever. I support the current thing. <laughs>